Hi, this is Anya Fadish for Real Estate Talk and here today I'm in the heart of Central Park with Jose who is, I mean, I've never met any other gondolier in my, in my life. Uh, so, is it possible that you would just stop somewhere? You come and sit next to me so yes. then we can talk? Yes. Okay, great. Oh my god, it's amazing. Do you do it every day? Uh, usually I work four days and then I go work three days. Okay, and then what about winter time? Uh, winter, sometimes I get invitations to go to different countries to teach people okay, to that, the gondola. That makes sense. But in general, I, I think I want your job. If you want to ever switch, <laughs> I, I, right. I will do it. We get to see so many situations <laughs> and different things that's it's kind of amazing. It's amazing. Uh, what kind of situations? Like, what, you know, I, I'm here to talk to you, but usually what, what people do? Example, I had seen over here over 600 marriage proposals. No way! In, in last year? <laughs> like, or? in the eight years I worked here, I had seen over 600 marriage proposals. Unbelievable! Weddings. Just yeah. tell me how many times they said no? Uh, seven. That's it? Not bad? Yeah, favorite ever's. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see people's reaction and everything. Oh my god, I don't think that it's funny. I think it's it's very pathetic and it's sad. The thing is, for, for, the, for the guy to say no, like for the lady to say no... Of course, but would you do all of that? <laughs> okay. Do you own this? Is it yours? Uh, actually, no. This is a gift of the Venetian government. To New York City government. Oh, I, I thought that they give it to give to you. Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> because if you own, if you would own it, I would say that you own the most expensive piece of property in New York City. You know, this like, is... you know, you know what it is in real estate. It's all about location. Oh, definitely. If you definitely. could live in this right here, there is no more expensive property per square feet than this piece of. Well, we have the Ooh. Central Park view with all these buildings around. Right? So it's uh, very it's unique. I must agree with you. Yes. And what, what do you do with this on winter time? Uh, in the winter, we take it out of the water, so it okay. kind of Obviously. like uh, wrap it, okay. you know, to protect it. But and then I, I have a different offers to go to some countries to teach people. So how it's, to it's actual, it's a, it's a profession. To yes. Begin. How you came yes. out with something like this? Uh, I never thought about becoming a gondolier. I actually got uh, in the truck. Where are you from? Uh, my dad is Italian, I'm Brazilian. Okay. I got like a, like a, a scholarship actually to come study here. I was studying economy. I never oh, thought okay, about becoming a gondolier. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Like until they invited me to do it. They said, "Oh, you have the personality for it." You and, do. Uh, absolutely. I was just like, "You know what? Let's give it a try." And here I am. Eight okay. years later, still work as a gondolier in the middle of New <laughs> York City. It's unbelievable. Is it difficult? Like, do you have to learn a lot? Uh, or you just stand right there and push the... <laughs> People usually think it's a very easy thing, but no, it's I very... It's you need easy. to practice a lot. It's yeah. example, in Venice, just to apply for the license, you would need around 400 hours to practice. Oh my god, but also in Venice you have to like more maneuver. Where can you go here? But the you thing go is, right there, you go uh, there and come back. But the thing is, I would say that's even easier. To be honest, because really? in Venice everybody knows how to roll. Over that, that's here, true, yeah. people try for the yeah, first like time. <laughs> yeah, this is like bumper balls. I was there a few times. I know how it she is. She probably made the gondola target to hit the ball. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this is like bumper boats around with all these peasants looking to us. <laughs> Grew up in Brazil. Yeah, that's okay. where the heavy accent come from. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not heavy. It's sexy. It's mine. Oh yeah, almost, like, I know, like, yours, but <laughs> mine so heavy. I can't understand myself sometimes. It's I like... have the, sa the same issue. No, I can understand myself, but like Siri or any of those devices. Oh no, it. they never I, talk, I, I to can't talk to me. They're like, no. hey Siri, what's gonna be the weather tomorrow? <laughs> Would you like me to order some dumplings? Or, no, I want to know about the weather. Dumplings? <laughs> I know, I, I know, I know how it is. Okay, so you, you know what is my blog about? Real estate and dating. Uh, so we know this is, this doesn't belong to you, so we can talk about real estate. We know we are in the center of Central Park, the best location ever. But then let's move to dating. How many dates do you see here? Oh, I see a lot. I see many times people coming for the first time on a date on the gondola. How often people... they end up in the water? Not often. <laughs> and about people who proposed here, did they ever follow with you? Do you think that this is a good place to propose? and? Of course for you, but like, for them? Uh, uh, they can, the thing is they can do it in different ways. So sometimes you can go to the bridge that's located okay. behind us. But is it like surprise? That yes. the guy arrange with you? Okay. Guys, yeah. listen, usually, listen. Usually it's like... <laughs> so, so they tell me before so I can help them plan it. So okay. example, they can make uh, a rain of roses when they're going to go on the Okay, bridge. that's too much. 
for some people it's too much, for some people are not, not even enough. enough, you know. <laughs> That's the cool, you have all these different people with different perspective of mm -hmm. how it should be. Yeah. And uh, ladies, they know how to fake it good enough. Even though if they don't like it... Oh, totally, like, ladies oh, always know how to fake it. <laughs> you could, it just read my mind, you know, in any aspect. That's and the so guys true. end up believing them, you know. Like, you can see in their face, like, they didn't, she didn't expect it at all. Because I see people actually complaining. Like, baby, it's too hot. You can see so much. I know you have another client, whatever, in 10 minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's okay, we, we can... Thank you so much. It was a pleasure <laughs> talking to you. And I, once I find a guy who wants to propose, I will make him to book the ride with you. How they can do it? Uh, I will, your phone number, your oh, email address. What's the easiest uh, way to? Would it be to reach the boat house? You can ask okay. the boat house. They're gonna tell you the days we have the gondola open or the number itself. Okay. And I reserve for the time you wish to come. You can bring a bottle of wine. Don't tell them because if not, they're gonna pay. No you. wine. Just okay. bring it. I get the glasses. Okay. And you're gonna have one of the I best like times ever. Champagne have. or white sancerre? Just <laughs> she was like, okay. I think she's gonna have a line of guys who expect to take her out now. I only need so, one. <laughs> just one. Of course, that's it. They always say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joseph, that that was awesome. Thank you okay, so much. It's and my pleasure to I'm be sure I, I see be interviewed by you. Thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure.